Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. First, however, let me remind you that Horlicks, the original malted milk, is a nourishing, easily digested food. Made from rich, full cream milk and the finest of wheat and malted barley, it is so carefully processed by Horlicks' original method in vacuum that it retains the precious minerals and vitamins that we need. It is a food that nourishes, invigorates, and sustains you while at your work. One that can be used with benefit by all, from infancy to old age. A food that brings results. Protect yourself. Get Horlicks, the original and genuine, which has been used and recommended by physicians all over the world for almost 50 years. Refuse imitations and substitutes which do not bring results and which do not possess the remarkable flavor and nutritive value of Horlicks. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. When we left Lum and Abner yesterday, they had just closed the deal to have their circus moved into the county seat. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find that the circus has been moved to the new location and will open this afternoon with Squire Skimp in charge. Grandpap has left the store in charge of Abner and Cedric Weehunt for a few moments. Someone is just entering the front door. Listen. Hey, who is it, Cedric? Who is it? I can't see a thing with these spectacles on. I don't know. Uh, I think it's Mr. Lum. He's so far off, I can't hardly tell. Well, what you fellas are doing sitting here? Huh? It's one, Mr. Lum. I thought you was a hundred yards off there. Yeah, I heard you, but I couldn't see you. I spoke to you about it three times, but I reckon I weren't close enough for you to hear me. These spectacles of mine make things look a heap closer to me in the air. Yeah, well, how do your spectacles feel now, Lom? Have your eyes got set to them yet? No, they're still bothering me a little. I can't get used to things looking so close to me this way. They magnify. Yeah. My, mine makes things look far away from me, sort of. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you got them then. That shows you're first-sighted. Well, sir, I still can't see a thing out of mine. I see them things, Abner. You ought to be able to see something out of them. Oh, well, I can see folks moving, but I can't tell who it is. It's sort of blurred like. Mm -hmm. Let me try them on there. My eyes have just been burning like fire. Well, no wonder. Look how red they are. Uh-huh. Your eyes is all red. Granny, it's a good thing you got them specs when you did. You'd have been blind for long. What you wallowing your eyes around that away for her? Look like a dying calf in a hailstorm. Well, I'm just trying to see how red my eyes are, but I can't do it. I ought to have a looking glass, then I could, I bet. I can't see nothing out of these things, neither. Your eyes are in bad shape. Hey, let me try them of yours, Lom. I I'm getting sort of uneasy about myself. I, I might keep going plumb blind here. Yeah, slip them off. Here. Oh, my goodness, Lom, get that thing off of me. Get him off, Lom, get him get off. Get off. What are you talking about? That vomit there on my arm. Get him off. Knock him off there, Lom. You mean like that? Yeah. Get the sugar scoop and knock him off oh, of there. Oh, for goodness sake, that ain't nothing but a little old fly. Well, that's the biggest one I ever seen. I know as he can take an arm right off of him. Oh, that's just them glasses of mine you got on. <laughs> no wonder they get imagined by everything. Just look around the store a little. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see you now. <laughs> yeah, they exaggerate, don't they? Exaggerate. Hmm. Oh, exaggerate. Oh, Swan. <laughs> Cedric, you look a sight sitting there. <laughs> Mom, what you sitting there so quiet about, Cedric? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. These, these spectacles of mine make you look so far away, I forgot I could talk to you. <laughs> uh, let me see them spectacles of yours, Cedric. I'd love to take them off anyway. Yeah, here, Lom, here. You, you better put your specs back on now before you ruin your eyes. Yeah. Look out, Cedric. Don't crowd up so close that way. I never move. You know. Oh. Yeah, she's right there. Granny, it looks like you got your nose right in my face. Now, Granny, your eyes is red, too, Cedric. Well, I ain't surprised. My eyes has been burning something wonderful. Yeah, it's a good thing that spectacle salesman come to town when he did. And he sure needing glasses, you could tell that. Yes, sir, man, I never even knowed it, neither. I just thought my eyes was working all right, for as I know. But I just stand around over there where that fellow was a-selling them at, over there with the circus grounds, and he said he could tell by looking at me that I... That I needed them. I was just standing there counting the money, and he hollered at me. I reckon I was counting it so slow he could tell I couldn't have seen. Yes, sir, that fellow has been a big help to this community. 
He's got new glasses on my and I, everybody in town. There's one. He, he says it's the drinking water here in Pine Ridge that causes everybody's eyes to be in such bad shape. He thinks. Well, it must be something. For he ain't examined nobody's eyes yet that ain't needed glasses. Well, as he sees drunk, sure thinks the world and all of him. He taken his whole family over there yesterday evening and had them all fit out with them. <laughs> all the youngins and everybody. Even that little baby of theirs. <laughs> just two months old. Was ha had to put nose glasses on him for the handles was too long to go over his ears. You mean they put nose glasses on little Herman? Yes, Mom. I wish I'd have got that kind, too. They got a sort of a button that goes with them, and they pin that on little Herman's dress. And then there's a chain runs from the spectacles to the button and, and winds up somewhere or other, sort of like a window blind. <laughs> you don't mean reading glasses? No, I don't think so. I don't even think the baby can read. Well, it comes by that natural. As he can't even read himself. Can't even write for his head goes. Well, Ezra can sign his name, I know, for I saw him do it. Yeah, yeah. but he can't sign it without lolling his tongue out. Hey, Lolly! Oh, for goodness sakes, Abner, don't be hollering in my ear that way. Oh, oh, excuse me, I forgot, Lolly. Hey, you look like you were sitting clean across the room, man. Yes, yeah, these spectacles of Cedric's that I got on here, I reckon. Well, take them all. Give them back to Cedric before he ruins his eyes sitting there without them. Yeah. All right here in my ear and me with a splitting headache. Yeah, here, Cedric. Hey, have you got a headache too, Lolly? Headache? It's been splitting wide open for two days now. Well, sir, mine has to. I never slept a wink last night. Up with it all night long. Well, what does a headache feel like? Didn't you ever have a headache, Cedric? No, I reckon not. <laughs> the reason I ask, I've had a hurting up here in my head for two days now. I didn't know what it was. There must be an epidemic of headaches around here. Everybody I've saw has got a headache. Well, Elizabeth said that she thinks maybe it's my eyes, but... I know it ain't, or these spectacles would have stopped it. No, couldn't be your eyes, but we've got them all took care of. Yeah, that's what I say. I don't know what's going on. It's the first headache I've had in years. I don't recollect wait, wait. when I... I believe huh? that's our ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> what's the matter? Plain chair. Mm. Hello? Essam, this is him. All right. The county seat's calling. Who? The county seat. Oh. Squire Skimp, I reckon, who it is. Uh, I told Squire to call up after the afternoon performance and let us know what kind of a crowd they had and all. Uh -huh. Yes, Mom, I'm holding it. We ought to went in there with them, I reckon. Help them get started, but... Sworn my head was hurting so bad, I never felt like doing nothing, hardly. Well, I never felt like it neither up all night that way. I just never felt like doing nothing. Well, I aimed to go, but I got up this morning and looked over there where they're loading the tent and all that stuff. Looked so far away, I just figured I wouldn't have time to get there before they left. No. So I never uh -huh. will. <laughs> well, maybe we'll all feel better tomorrow and we can go in there and see how the circus is getting along. Just go in the county seat, you know, and see Squire and ask him Wait, wait a minute. Huh? Hello? Squire? Yeah, this is him. Yeah. <laughs> how did you do? No, I say, how did you do? Yeah. Oh, that spectacle, sir. He's a friend of me. Well, fine. That's sound a heap better. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to take Elizabeth well, and Pearl. Well, that's fine, to... Squire. I'm so proud of here. Can we put a pair on Elizabeth and Pearl, too? Well, I don't know. I don't believe we can make it tonight, Squire. We're all about half sick with a bad headache. No, oh, me, my head is killing. I don't know. Something we had, I reckon. It's hurting something wonderfully all day. Yeah, it might be. It might be. Well, we'll try to get in there tomorrow, though, Squire. All right. Glad you called. And glad to hear you're doing so well. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> I granny, that's a sounding better. That's done good today, huh? Oh, said they had an uncommonly big crowd. Tent was full. Well, I do know. Well, that's fine. I believe Squire's going to do all right, Abner. He does know the circus business. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a good idea, moving it out of town, getting it in there where we can get a well, crowd. Wait a minute. Yet. That's our ring again. Might be Squire calling back. Oh, yeah. Right. Chair. Uh, uh. Move that thing, Cedric. You mean that chair way over yonder? I don't see no chair. Hmm. Mouthpiece on this telephone looks like it's big enough for me to crawl inside of. Hello? This is a jot them down store. Oh, yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Well, Cedric's here now, and I'll just get him to run over there with it. Uh, what was it you wanting? A dozen eggs. A can of bacon powder. Two cans of tomatoes. A box of snuff. All right, he'll be right over there with it. Thank you, Mom. Not at all. Goodbye.
Uh, Cedric, I want you to run over to the Witter Abernathy's for me. Uh, get a can of bacon powders and two cans of tomatoes off the shelf over there. Yes, Mom. Yeah, let me get these specs of mine off, and I'll help you. Now. Maybe I can see something. Yeah, get a can of snuff over there, Abner. And we'll have this order out in no time. Let me get a sack here. He's way younger, too big. Look at them little sacks we have. Yeah, that's a little sack. Fine. One, two, three, four. What in the world are you doing there, Lom? Uh, counting out these, this dozen eggs for the winter. Why, them ain't eggs, you idiot. Them's navy beans you're counting out there. Navy beans. <laughs> well, the circus may have left town, but the spectacle salesman will long be remembered in Pine Ridge. Now, here's something that I think is going to interest a lot of you folks. A little story about a friend of mine. Sleeplessness made this poor fellow's life miserable. He'd lie in bed and roll and toss around all night long, just couldn't get to sleep. Couldn't get the rest that he needed so much. Well, he told me about this trouble of his one day, and I suggested Horlick's malted milk. Told him to drink a glass full hot just before retiring. He tried Horlicks that night and called me up the next day to tell me that he'd be grateful to me and to Horlicks as long as he lived. Said he slept soundly all night and woke up the next morning fully refreshed. The first good night's rest that he'd had in months. Yes, sir, there's nothing like Horlicks malted milk to promote good restful sleep. If any of you are having the same trouble as that friend of mine, just try Horlicks before you go to bed tonight. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who bid you all good night and good health.